hi welcome back to my youtube channel i am om in today's video i want to speak on the topic take it to jesus the reality of life is that you can have somebody really care about you but they do not understand what you are going through which is they cannot empathize but there is a beauty in knowing that you have someone who cares for you and also understands how you feel what you are going through and in life this person is our lord and savior jesus christ because he had to walk on earth with humanity so that you would understand exactly how we feel walking through life sometimes you have thoughts in your head from within your mind tells you you're not good enough your mind tells you you're ugly maybe you've heard people tell you things you're rejected no one would ever love you unlovable and there are so many things you might have heard people say about you or you've thought about it yourself and you have to know that no matter what they have said about you or what they have said to you whether they be your parents be your friends be the people you love the most be your partner in a relationship they did not create you so whatever they said about you or said to you or did to you they did not make you they could call you whatsoever name and now you carry shame because of the things that has happened to you and now you regret because of some of the decisions you made that makes you feel like why did i even get into that situation in the first place and god is literally telling you today for whatever thing that you were labeled anybody that labeled you did not make you because the reality even in manufacturing is that it is a manufacturer that gets to design the label for each of the products because he knows the quality and the constituents and the content of his product and this is me telling you none of the people that have said bad things about you from birth even till the age that you are right now as you're watching this video made you so whatever label they put on you you should tell yourself i'm taking this to jesus i'm taking this to the one that made me i will take this up with god i do not have the chance or the energy or the time to argue with these people i do not have the time to tell these people or to try to defend myself or to try to prove myself to them that i am not what they say about me but i would have one time which is take this to the lord and see what did you say about me where they say that you are not loved he said and he being hung on the cross has wiped out all the unwriting that was written against you all the things that was written about you in evil all the things they said about you he wipes it out and you have to accept the fact that everything that they called you that is not what he called you that is not what god labeled you scriptures in psalms 139 says i praise you because i am fearfully and wonderfully made your works are wonderful i know that full well i am fearfully and wonderfully made yeah where it said you are rejected you are accepted in the beloved your mama I'm writing they called you rejected they called you unlovable he said he loves you for god commended his love to us that while we were yet sinners christ died for us they said you're not enough he says you are complete in him and you have to start listening to what god said about you not what people said about you you have to start listening to what god said about you not what your friends not what your mother or your father not what your family members are calling you not what anybody not even what your mind is telling you because sometimes the devil will wage the war in your mind and make you tell yourself these things i am ugly i am rejected i am not loved nothing that i do gets becomes good everything i do goes bad i'm a disgrace I am weak and he says you're not weak the lord is your strength whatever thing you feel in your heart whatever pain you've experienced whatever abuse 
you've walked through, you have to take this to Jesus and take it up with him and ask him, what did you say about me? In Ephesians chapter 1, it talks about how we are accepted in Christ. Even before the world was made, God had already chosen us to be his through our union with Christ so that we would be holy and without fault before him. Because of his love, God had already decided that through Jesus Christ, he would make us his children, this with his pleasure and purpose. So it pleases God to make you his own. It pleases God to accept you. It pleases God to love you because loving you is what makes him pleased. It's what makes him delighted. It's what makes him smile. It's what makes him happy. And I am here to encourage you. I don't know what you've told yourself about you. I don't know what they have said about you. But now let me just end this video with telling you about one man, Jabez. His own mother gave birth to him and later called him Sorrow. Now I'm not going to clean this because you need to know what God has said about you and many more. Jabez. Jabez in the scripture, the mother named him Sorrow or pain maker. Somebody that brings sorrow because she bore him in pain. She gave birth to him in pain. But now, Jabez grew up. I would wonder, being a child, the stigma that would follow you when everybody keeps calling you. And when they call you, you get to think about the interpretation of your name. Jabez, Jabez. And it's like they're saying, sorrow, sorrow. Wow, what a, what a place of sadness. What a sad name. What a depressed name. Because every time they are calling you, it's become an identity. Sorrow, sorrow. And you know, they're going to make fun of you. They're going to mock you. And Jabez said, well, I'm not even going to argue about this with the people. Stop calling me by that name. I'm not going to go about trying to change my name by myself because in my head, something is registered that is not supposed to be there. I feel like anywhere I go, I will create pain. I will cause pain. I will cause sorrow. And scripture says, and Jabez called on the Lord God. It says Jabez was honorable above his brothers, but his mother named him Jabez, sorrow maker, saying, because I bore him in pain. Jabez cried to the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you would bless me and enlarge my brother, and that your hand might be with me, and you would keep me from evil, so it might not hurt me. And God granted his request. Jabez literally took it to God and took it up with God. And that is what I'm encouraging you in today's video. Whatever thing you are being bothered about, what people have said about you, what they have said to you, what they have done to you, take it to God and take it up with God. You don't have the leverage of the time to go argue, to go fight, to go defend yourself, to go try to prove yourself to anybody because you don't need to prove yourself to anybody. But there is one who has approved of you already. He has commended you. He has recommended you. You don't need your father, your mother's recommendation for God to love you and make you fulfill purpose in life. Now, why can you have such boldness and such, you know, assurance? It is because a man came down from heaven and he died for you. He came just because of you. And he decided to wear humanity like you. And scripture says that, for we do not have a high priest who is unable to understand and sympathize. And have a shared feeling with our weaknesses and infirmities and liability to the assault of temptation. Jesus had to walk on earth and have God turn his face from him so that you and I, God would never turn his face from us. So that what, when he says to us, I will never forsake you or leave you, we can hold him and take him at his word and take it up with him. You said you will never leave me, but I'm feeling away. And he says to you, don't worry, I understand. I get it very well. But we have an high priest who has been tempted in every respect as we are, yet without sinning. Jesus was mocked. Jesus was conned. Jesus was disgraced. Jesus went through everything he went through, not because he deserved it. So stop thinking about yourself that you deserve all the things you're going through. In the flesh, you actually deserve all the wrong. Why I say that you do not deserve those wrongs again is because somebody paid for it. It's just like going to take a loan and then you've paid off your loan after paying off your loan you don't have to keep paying because it's paid for or probably let me put it this way you took a loan you couldn't pay it off 
someone who loved you so much knowing the weight that this loan and the depression and the sadness that is having on you goes about behind your back to go pay the loan now you do not have to go pay the loan again because if you want to go pay they will tell you your loan has been fulfilled and then you have to accept that it's been fulfilled for you not to have the weight upon you but that loan could be fulfilled but because you do not know you will still carry the weight how am i going to do oh they're going to come for me they're going to come take all these things that i used as collateral they're going to come take my house come take this land or whatever it is but once you know it's fulfilled you do not have to worry you can have freedom that i don't deserve them harassing me i don't deserve them coming to harass me i do not deserve people talking to me as they would and even when they do i'll go back to my father because it will give me results in my life that will prove them wrong and that is me literally telling you in today's video that you are loved you are valued you are favored you're not what they said about you you are what he says about you he says you are fearfully and wonderfully made and when i did a little study on this fearfully and wonderfully made it is the word distinguished let me get the spelling right distinguish you are distinguished you are separate you are not common you're not just like anybody else so don't try to look at yourself and think like you're like everybody else whatever everybody else is going through you are going to experience the same thing jesus had to tell the disciples look i do not call you servants again i call you friends because the servants do not understand or do not hear the deep thoughts of the master he said i no longer call you slaves because the master doesn't confide in his slaves now you are my friends since i have told you everything the father told me you didn't choose me i chose you i appointed you to go and produce lasting fruit so that the father will give you whatever you ask for using my name you are chosen i don't know who told you that you're not loved you're rejected scripture says that we are chosen generations a royal priesthood a holy nation people called out from darkness people called out from depression people called out from anxiety people called out from the fear of death people called out from all these negative places to a place of hope to a place of light so that we would declare the praise of god there is no better way to to declare the praise of god than living in purpose there's no better way to declare the praise of god than breathing this breath he gave you with all amount of assurance that he wants you to keep breathing it not you trying to think i don't think he wants me to be here he wants you to keep breathing the breath he gave you because he loved you and he loves you still and he will keep on loving you yeah you made mistakes but you're not your mistake you are chosen you know what you've done you already prescribed your life before you came into this place you already designed your life before you came into this place we can actually go back to the manufacturer and look to him and turn to him for him to bring out the best that he made us to be thank you so much for watching today's video i am om and it's such a pleasure to have you watch today's video let me know what you think about this video and then get in the comment section and drop your thoughts about this video. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.